Well, it's Women's History Month and a New Englander is celebrating by returning home from a trip that actually made history. You heard the story first on WBZ last month when Cole Brower was still sailing solo around the world. Now her journey is over, but her story still being told. WBZ's Laura Hayfully sat down with her and has more on this adventure of a lifetime. Last we spoke to Cole, it was just about a month ago. She had just bruised her ribs and was in the thick of her sailing adventure. Well, she's finished the race, achieving a dream and earning herself a title only she will ever hold. I am the first American woman to race solo around the world. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've said it out loud. Cole Brower is breaking barriers, completing the Global Solo Challenge, one of the most extreme sporting events on Earth. The last time we spoke, I asked you, what are you going to do when you get on land? The bottle of champagne is in the mini fridge. I first met Cole over video chat in February. I was in Boston. She was in the middle of the ocean. 800 miles off the coast of Uruguay. If someone needed to come out and get me, it could take upwards of a week. During her sailing saga, she faced high seas, unpredictable weather, and scary moments like this. She bruised her ribs and later experienced severe dehydration, but she fought on. Sailing through the Australian Sea on the edge of the Antarctic, New Zealand, and eventually back to Spain after 30,000 miles and four months alone. Despite the ups and downs, Cole finished the race. My parents were crying, like, and I, I just, it was just a shock as if you were, you know, in solitary confinement. And then you come out and you're like, oh, I can see the light again. Finally reaching dry land and her dream of becoming the first woman to race around the world, a title she'll keep forever. You know, take your dream and then take it one step further. I, I would just say it was completely life-changing. So what's next for Cole? Well, she is planning another race, an even longer one, if you can believe it, but that's a few years away. For now, she's celebrating with friends and family. Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.